the 2020 PSLE Science Section B Question 36. It says Ravi rode a metal ball from point X at a low speed past a strong magnet on a table as shown. So this is the metal ball which I underline. X path of ball they roll this way. This is a strong magnet which is at one centimeter away from its uh, roll path. Explain why the metal ball move past the magnet in a straight line. So the student had to explain why this metal ball continually moves in a straight path past this strong magnet. So look at this student's answer. The student answer says the metal ball may not be a magnetic material. So we need to be very specific because may not means they have, still have a chance of being becoming a magnetic material. So the more direct answer is the metal ball is non-magnetic. Or you can say the bottom the metal ball is not a magnetic material. But you see the student actually lost half a mark because the student did not explain. So non-magnetic means what? It means it will not be attracted to the strong magnet. So it is important to give the reason because whenever you see the word explain, you have to give the reason. Okay, let's move on to the next part B. He next wrote an iron ball. So notice the first instance is a metal ball. And now to be more specific, they change to iron ball. So I also underline here. Row an iron ball from X in the same way. The same amount of force is the same. And now the student need to give this answer. Which path of the iron ball, Q, R, S or T, is most likely? So the student got to analyze which path. So in, immediately the student got a link because iron is magnetic. So it must be able to be attracted by the strong magnet. So it can't be Q because Q is, is too near to the magnet because when you apply the force, the force of the iron ball will continue to move in a way. As it comes near to the strong magnet, the magnetic force will attract the iron ball and it will deviate from its normal path S. So the correct answer should be path R. So can you see here there's an integration of P3 magnetic topics or P4. Some school teach in P4, but most school teach magnet in P3. And an integration of P6 forces. So there's an integration of P3 and P6 topic. Just like in the SEF, we have the integration of the tri-service operations of the Navy, Army and the Air Force. So somehow I teach students about military science. I ask them to view the Poseidon P8. And this is one of the latest technology. I hope that the RSAF and the SEF can purchase a fleet of P8 Poseidon to protect Singapore by the year 2024. So the student, the answer for this question is coming back is actually refer to answer key, which let me explain to you the answer for this question. So it should be path R. Path R as iron is a magnetic material. It is attracted by the strong magnet or is pulled towards a strong magnet and hence it changes in the direction of motion. So the student need to apply because in P6 topic on forces, they are supposed to indicate that when there's an external force acting on an existing force, there are six effects. So one of them is the object will change direction. So once again, this is a two mark question. The student need to identify the path and explain. So once again, this one is the model answer. You can free screen and take it down. It's path R. As iron is a magnetic material, it is pulled towards the strong magnet and hence it changes in direction of motion. So I wish you all the best in the coming PSRE science and you can look forward to my training in one academy.